Hello Photoshoppers, my name is Mrene and I just had a tutorial request on how to do cats with shotguns. So today we are doing that, so it's nothing, this one is for you. So let's head into Cinema, <laughs> Cinema 40, let's head into Photoshop and um, get your image. Should um, my cat, I want to put in the shotgun here or something. So. But you could, you know, also do, I don't know, carry it behind or whatever you want to do. But in my case, I want to do that. But before moving on, I'm just going to light up the cat a bit. So I'm going to, to filter, camera raw filter. And then I'll pump up the shadows and turn on the highlights a bit. And then I will press OK. And I think the image here is too green. There's something wrong with the white balance so I will create a curves layer and then I will go to the go start with the green channel click on the cat and let's see just move it just a bit down and go to the blue as well see what we can do here just a subtle effect or a subtle fix I guess So that's better. Um, we will, um, so now we'll cut out the cat. And before doing that, let's just open our channels layer. And I'll just stick it to the layers panel here. And see on what channel is it more difference between the fur and the background. We're going to use that to easily uh, cut out the, uh, the fur. So on the blue channel, I don't know. On the red channel, it's really horrible. Um, and the green channel, how is this? I think the uh, the blue channel is the best. So, and uh, press Control A, whoops, and press Control A to uh, mark everything, and press Control C to copy it and pass it above here the layer. And now I'm here in a new account tablet, and I can't really control it as you can hear. And now let's grab the last tool and just paint around the cat, or paint, just draw around the cat. And I really suck here with the Wacom tablet. But it's okay, we can come back and hold down Shift for places we want to add a selection and hold down Alt. It's just to remove a selection. Boom. This was way too big, so I'll just remove some from here. And I think the rest, I think the rest is fairly fine. So like that, then create, uh, let's just, yeah, let's create a new layer mask. So select the, the channel and click here, create new layer mask. Then just let's create a white layer beneath. So it's easier to see how our fur rendering is. And now we'll click on the layer double click that and click mask edge and now we we'll try to render out the the fur on the cat so I'll just increase the size a bit and the and then take smart radius and start painting around the fur and we'll see how Photoshop is doing so by painting with the smart radius Photoshop will try and guess where the what the selection should be so just continue all around and try to optimize it until we, you know, get there. So just paint around, optimize it. I'm just here for fast forwarding so you don't have to look at it. So now we have this. It's not perfect, but it's good for now. We'll just duplicate the cat layer below and then drop that layer in there. <coughs> I think I'll just merge the curves before doing that and then drop it in there. And then I'll add in my background and we're going to worry about, I mean the, the selection isn't perfect but um, it is fur and it's a tricky background so it's alright. But I'm going to add in a background and then we'll fix it. So here's my background, I'll just pass it in and I'll delete these layers and put that beneath. <clears throat> then I'll 
increase it. And resize the cat. I mean, it's okay, we are working a bit destructive here, but it's alright. Because my final image will be a lot smaller anyway, so I don't need to worry about that. <clears throat> Alright, let's just uh, crop that image by clicking C and then un resize it something like this and then delete these, this layer on below. Just crop that like that. Okay, so I want to get the cat to fit in a bit more so I can grab a brown color, go on top, create a new layer and fill that. Now press the blending mode of color and you see it's blending in a bit more. Um, and we'll worry about this selection later, but not right now. Alright, so now is the time for the shotgun, so let's get that in and I'm going to the select the color range and then I'll paint in it's already guess it's the the white background otherwise we just paint in to you know select the, so to get the selection I want the the white so select that then I can zoom in here and press Q and start brushing in places it didn't quite catch so and press Q again and then press Control Shift I and inverse that selection to get the shift gun now let's pass that in under the brown layer here and um, let's resize it just a bit you know this is obviously too large and this is just too large as well but then we decrease the file size on that because now we can press the marquee tool and then right click and press convert to smart layer and now we can start to resize it and move it along respectively and we're sure we won't lose quality how would I want it? I think I want it something like this. Maybe a bit in perspective too. Yeah, something like that. And then I see there's something wrong with the selection. As you can see it has this white outline. So let's go in, double click on the smart layer. Um, control click on that layer to select it and then tr press select, modify, contact and let's contact it with one pixel and waste that selection and delete. Now we should have kept the, the white bird border. So let's see how we did. Apparently we didn't save it or what. Or we should have done maybe contact it with two instead. two pixels. That's a lot. Maybe I didn't delete it properly. I don't know. Delete. And let's save that. And now it's gone. That's much better. Now let's get the the path above the shotgun. So hide the shotgun for now. And get the pen tool by pressing P and just start selecting it. and then convert that to a selection by pressing Control enter and then create a layer mask from that and press Control i for to invoke that alright that's good I think now we can <coughs> create a new layer on top and call that shotgun shadow and grab your pen tool and start turning in with blacks to really you know, add more realism to this. And only let it exist on the layer below. We can do that for the clipping mask, so hold on Alt, and you'll see this arrow meaning these pixels can only exist on these pixels. So let's just add in a shadow here. I'm not quite satisfied with mine. Alright, and now 
we want the paths as well to be above that but for doing that we need to duplicate the cat's paths so I can just select that with the lasso tool Control C, Control V get that above the shotgun I did that instead of the layer mask because now I need to move the paw as you can see maybe I should rotate the shotgun just a bit <coughs> and now I'll start to create a, a new uh, layer mask and I'll start to blend in uh, now let's first Remember this out with the pen tool. And now it looks weird because it has two paws, obviously. Oh, and let's just fix this with the stamp, clone stamp tool. So I'm just going to grab stuff from above the layer and paint that in. Like that. Whoops. So, there we are. And let's just fix that here as well. I see there's an error. Boom. And let's grab that sh shadow layer and paint in with a bit of shadow too. Uh, I don't like that. I'll increase the size first and paint in. That's better. Maybe. Alright, let's get the give it a hat. So I'll just add in this picture and steal the hat. Let's just grab the pen tool and edit it out. Get the hat and let's pass it in beneath that color layer and right now it's too contrasty so we could change that with creating um, with going to the filter camera raw filter and just decrease the contrast I think 100 is better so difference let's put it on on top of the cap and rotate it so it fits So something like that. And then let's create a shadow as well. Call that cat shadow. And create that. Oh way too many of these. Create a clipping mask as well. And just I think I'll paint in one side with a lot of uh, black. a little over here, then create a soft light just to know like it's kind of <coughs> casting a shadow here, I'll just delete the shadow in, in the eyes, That's, that doesn't look so good 
And let's create a new shadow as well. New shadow layer. And it won't have a soft light, it will just create it here and here too. So maybe it should be a bit smaller. But then we need to zoom in and erase some of the ears. So we'll do that with painting in blacks. We're painting black to do that. So, all right, let's just get this and move it a bit. Whoops, I have to set the layer mask to follow. So let's just, whoops, boom, there we are. So let's just move that, rotate it a bit. And then I'll add in a shadow, no, sorry, a smoke, so control. C and then control V on the layer here and I can increase the size because I'm going to decrease this file size later so it is alright. Put it here on the shotgun so you know it will help out to settle the effects and put the the uh, blending mode of screen. <coughs> now I thought of a quick solution so you know the cat is floating on air so I thought, why not just let's give it a box, you know, that's really cat-ish. Alright, let's pass that in beneath the cat this time. And let's just get that to fit. So, something like... Let's <coughs> now, I don't want to ruin this layer mask, so I can create a new folder. And let's see how the clipping masks are. Are they alright? Just to make sure. Alright, so before moving on, let's just hide the cat and get the selection from this box here. So I can choose what should be inside. So there we are, show the cat again, and let's just fill that in with blacks, and see, alright, I also deleted some of the shotgun, we don't want that, so we can just control click on the shotgun, and, no oh wait, what's that, oh there's an error here, let's just delete that. And we just untick this. We want to move stuff along around in the box, but of course we might ruin the selection. So I think I want it like this instead. <coughs> and then I want to uh, then I'll have to remove the some of the shotgun down here, so just paint in with blacks too. And now we have the problem with the double paw, and we can see it's easily easy to fix now. We need now we know how it should be. So I can just let's just create a new layer here and set the sand layer on the clone step to current and below, and we just copy from here. So. Now we don't have this problem. And let's um, create a new layer as well. And that will be some of the layer, or some of the shadow from the box. Some of the shadow from the box. So just paint in and erase errors, obviously. <coughs> and let's go in and fix that selection here. We should you know, it is fair, so it's really tricky to render out, so we should be satisfied with the resolve we've got so fast. And you know, you can always come back and play around with the settings to really, perf to really create a perfect selection for the fur. But we won't have time for that in this. So, Looking at this image, I think we can do a little bit more to really help to set it out. 
this cat needs, needs noise and in order to see the noise we need first to find out you know what's the file size is the intended output and I need this for the web so I'll just merge everything on top save this create a new document and then I'll resize this document to whatever file size needed and I will need it I think I need a thousand times on width zoom in and then add in some noise and it should be monochromatic maybe four is good alright so there you have it a shotgun with cats snuffing <laughs> I hope you found this I can see we didn't do perfect on the selection here but you know we won't have time for creating the perfect selection the perfect in you know it will take obviously take up with the I'm not sure how happy I am with the solution on just putting it in a box you know it's funny because it's a cat and maybe we should have it in looking at it maybe we should have it in a shadow here from the shotgun on the box but you know this is the basics and it is a cat with a shotgun so let me know what you think in the comments below enjoy <laughs>